The really unusual idea here is that um, if you just go and take a book off the shelf and look at um, how organisms cause disease, you'll read about virulence factors. And we took a virulence factor and left it in place, but just tweaked the amount that was produced and basically turned it into an amazingly protective factor. And the idea that something that we think is bad can be good is going to open up all kinds of new possibilities for developing uh, vaccines, not only against pneumococcus, but other organisms as well. Pneumonia can be caused by a lot of different organisms, and today we're talking about one of the bacteria that cause pneumonia, which is the pneumococcus. And one of the things that's very vexing about the pneumococcus is that it has about 90 different varieties, which we call serotypes. The pneumococcal vaccines are really designed to prevent all kinds of disease that pneumococcus causes. Currently, we have two of them. One of them is an adult vaccine, um, and the other is a pediatric vaccine. They're different formulations. These vaccines only cover really a fraction of all of the possible strains or types of pneumococcus that cause disease. The reason that we set out to make a new vaccine, and a new type of vaccine, actually, is that the current pediatric vaccine, while a great vaccine, has limitations. It doesn't cover all of the types of pneumococcus that cause disease. And we were, uh, our goal has been to make a vaccine that will, that will cover one of these serotypes, which is serotype three. And we took an approach that would be called, I guess, a genetic approach. So we decided to focus on one of the proteins that the pneumococcus makes called pneumolysin. And we found the sequence of this pneumolysin gene and we changed it, we redesigned it so that the amount of it that's produced is reduced and we replaced the normal gene in uh, one of the pneumococcal bacteriums with this one and that is our vaccine. Our study was published in the Journal of Infectious Diseases and uh, the central findings of our paper were that our live vaccine, which was made by reducing the production of uh, one of the virulence factors, pneumolysin, was exceedingly less uh, virulent than when we gave it to mice. The mice that had received our vaccine were, in fact, vaccinated so that they lived, and months later we gave them a very high dose of the pneumococcus, the regular kind, and they survived. If one is planning today, to make a new vaccine that one could reasonably expect it to be available in about a decade. We took a virulence factor and left it in place, but just tweaked the amount that was produced and basically turned it into an amazingly protective factor. And the idea that something that we think is bad can be good is going to open up all kinds of new possibilities for developing uh, vaccines, not only against pneumococcus, but other organisms as well.